Uh, Mike, congratulations. Uh, can you talk about your defense? Uh, that they ran 93 plays for 362 yards, about 50 on the last play. Just talk about how they played. Well, I thought they did it. <laughs> I thought they did a great job of uh, bending but not breaking. And uh, it came up with big plays when we had to, spe specifically third down stops. I sound like a horror movie right now. Good gracious. Um, but my hat goes off to, to, to the defensive coaches for uh, for the efforts that were out there. And, um, you know, we got a lot of, we can get a lot better than the way we played today, but I was a very good football team. Wow. Uh, when you see the ball go into Ant's hands and then an instant later he laterals it to Coley, what, what's going through your mind then? Just don't fumble it. You know, it was a great play by Anthony Harris. Um, I don't know about the lateral play, but uh, we had possession at that time. And... Um, you know, that was obviously that was the turning point. The field goal by Fry, the safety, those are plays that happened in the game that really turned everything around for us. And obviously that big play right there was tremendous. I'm sorry, fellas. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> with what you can, uh, can you just sum up, I guess, kind of the character of your team to go through uh, not only coming back <clears throat> from down late, but also putting up with the rain delay and what, what happened to it turned into about a four or five hour game. And yeah, that was amazing right there. Um, I'm just so proud of this team. I wish I could tell them. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, it was a long game. That's a very good football team. And uh, to have a win like that, our first game, our opening game against a, a well-coached team is, uh, is a tremendous boost for this team. And, um, we're looking forward to the next game. We can be we can be happy now, but we can't be satisfied. Hey, Mike. Um, the special teams play was really big for you guys today. Lots of big plays on a lot of your units. Could you maybe just talk about that a little bit, please? Well, obviously with Fry, the field goal, uh, Nikki's uh, the return, or the punt return. Smoke had a pretty decent kickoff return. We let one out. We let one loose also, you know. So, but I thought our coverage was pretty good. Volsenek did a great job. With, with catching some uh, some snaps that were pretty high and did a great job getting the ball off. So um, I tell you what, that was we, we knew we had to make some plays in the special teams, particularly with a good team like this. Anybody got any hauls, spit the latums, <laughs> something like that? Coach, uh, David Wofford uh, had, I guess you could say, an up and down kind of night. Uh, what, did, what did you think of, of David tonight, and did he execute uh, well enough, in your opinion? Well, I mean, David could do better. Um, you know, I thought we left some throws out on the field. The ball started getting wet there a little bit, so it left his hand. You saw the ball high a couple times. Um, you know, so you know, David's our guy. We just got to make sure that um, he does the things that we're going to require for him to do. But, you know, you look at the, the stats, maybe it's not indicative as far as how he could have played, but it's something we can go forward and move forward on. Did you text the fans at halftime and tell them to come back? or <laughs> When I had a voice, I, I went on the radio and I urged them to come back because I knew the BYU fans weren't going anywhere. And um, it was great to see them come back. I, I, I appreciate the fans out there for coming back and hanging there with us. It was awesome to see them. You know, they've been in college football games, and that's the thing. You know, even though there's there's sophomores that are true sophomores that played as freshmen last year, I mean, they played in college football games. I was so it was great to see those guys out there playing, responding. Eli Harold. I mean, I could just go on and on about the guys that played, and um, we're only going to get better. You played a lot of sub defense today. Nickel package with with Kennedy up there. He led you in tackles. Can you talk about the decision and about his play? Well, it was more so what what, what they were doing. Um, you notice the type of offense, whether it was a pistol, inverted wishbone. 
There were a lot of things that they were doing that um, we wanted to put speed and athleticism on the field. And that's what, that's what led to the personnel for this game. Mike, how, how did you keep your kids kind of going, I guess, during that delay? I mean, obviously a unique situation. What did you say to them? What did you guys do in the locker room? Well, we, we, they took their shoulder pads off. We made sure they hydrated. Um, we just said, hey, listen, they got to do the same things we're doing. They got to play when we play. And I just think that uh, these guys are ready. They were hungry to play today, and regardless of uh, how long the game went. We felt pretty good about this team. They're, that's a good football team, but I just think uh, going back, coming in the, in the locker room, and the guys hearing the, talk, the chatter, the talk about when we go back out, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. I mean, it was great to hear. Did you know Hoffman was was probably going to miss the game, or did you know he was hurt, the wide receiver, with all the catches for BYU last year? No, I, I didn't know that. No. In the ACC games, we exchange injury reports, but out of conference games, you don't have to, and we and we didn't. Anyone else for coach? Thank you. Thank I appreciate it.